God's purposes was to dwell in the man, fellowship with the man, have communion with the man, and man worship him and glorify him. That was God's eternal purpose. Na wakati Kristo amekuja na akalipa gharama ya dhambi na tukapokea tena Roho Mtakatifu, God is still taking us back to that program. What we are waiting for now is only one thing. Na ni gani hiyo? Tunagoja kanisa litwaliwe wale walio lala katika Bwana, waamuke kufumba na kufumbua wale walio hai wabadilishwe tumlaki bwana yesu mawinguni na tupewe mwili wa utukufu amen listen to me very carefully the spirits and the soul wakati tutaka potoka katika mwili those two can never live without a body let me come again very slowly roho na nafsi haziwezi kuishi pasipo mwili that is why because you are a spirit and you have a soul you need a body na hata tukilala katika bwana tutapewa mwili wa utukufu kwa sababu we shall have a spirit and a soul we shall need a body thank you jesus nataka msikize kwa makini ndio muelewe na kitu katika dunia hii mwanadamu yoyote ambaye anatoka kwa mwili The spirit comes out. Na unaingia ulimwengu wa rohoni. Mungu hakupanga nafsi na roho zikae nje ya mwili. That is why it is illegal. It is illegal for anybody. Even satanists when they are given demons na wanatoka kwa mwili na wanaingia katika ulimwengu wa rohoni before God it is a sin because you are supposed to be living in a body that was god's purpose as long as man is here on earth he must stay inside the body na kama mwanadamu kwa nguvu za roho mtakatifu atatoka kwa mwili ni kwa sababu mungu ametoa idhini mungu akutoe kwa mwili kwa roho mtakatifu akupeleke biguni ama akupeleke uh, jehanamu akuonyeshe hiyo mambo na akurudishe it is only the holy ghost who can make a man leave his body only the holy ghost but if you live by any other means it is a sin wala mnasemanga mnafurahi usiku bwana tunataka kujua mnafurahi kwa nguvu gani men zimetangwa terrestrial journeys kuingia rohoni wala asifiwe that is why wale unasikia kama ah mara nyingi kama wewe unafurahi furahi usiku ah lazima tutaka kujua hiyo connection ya kukutoa kwa mwili ni connection gani na niliwaambia wakati mtu anatoka kwa mwili kuna kitu kanaitwa nini silver cord kanaitwa nini silver cord ukitoka kwa mwili hivi hako ndio kanatokanga na ni karefu sana unaweza kutoka kwa mwili ukiwa hapa na wedi ya Amerika na ikifika mahali ya kurudi utarudi lakini kakikatwa uwezi kuingia kwa mwili tena wala wana uanga wachawi hiyo ndio wanakataga na usijaribu kuwa mjai ati nakata silver code in the name who told you you don't have the authority kwa sababu gani uh, mchawi ataenda ambie Mungu mimi ningeokoka mtoto wako ndio aliniua you are going to answer for the soul of that mchawi kwa hivyo hii mnasemanga oh sijui nini 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 the bible says suffer not for a witch to live i cut the silver cord in the name na unaruka kwa rufu unajitafutia kesi unajitafutia kesi tafadhali kama mtu ni adui yako bibi natambia tufanye nini tumuombe tumpe nini chakula na tumbariki tumemwekea nini makaa juu ya kichwa. Hii mambo ya return to the center. Na ni watu wa kanisa. Nitanambia kama ni mnafanya kazi posta. Bwana asifiwe. Unataka barua zinandikangwa RTS return to the center. <laughs> I'm teaching a very serious thing. Hii ni kitu kwa kanisa na hii ni uchawi. Na watu wanaifanya wakisema in Jesus name. Hakuna kitu kama hiyo. Nataka muwe safi. In your spirits, in your souls and bodies. 
you, you remain blameless before God. Na usitara wida mana nunaongea. Ida mana nunaongea. Haita isia hapa. The things you speak. Tusichukue mana nunaongea kwa mzaha. That's why yes what is sema. Let your yes be. Yes. And for every idle word, you shall give account. Let me tell you, your words are critical. Usue na mazoe ya kuongea kiholera. Na wale munajua kuongea sana tafadhali. If you talk too much, be careful. It is one of the diseases of the tongue. Tell your neighbor. Kwa li ya muna wane mulimu wa arule me. Wana asifiwe. Bibina sema kwamba katika maneno mengi kuna nini? Kuna dhambi. That's how people commit sin. Kwa kuongea. Ukisikia mtu wakisama mimi na kuwaga hivyo. Mimi ni mtu wakuongea. Murumie. Amen. Kama ni mekua za mtu. Ni za mehe. Mwana asifiwe. Let's continue. Ah. Any unsurrendered area should be designed by a believer. Kama kuneo katika maisha yako, haujasalimisha kwa mungu, itambue na upiana kwa buwana. Kuna watu wamekata mungu atawale pesa yao, ikifika pesa ni yao. Kuna watu wengine, ikifika mambo ya husiano, wao ndi wanaamua. Uh, kwa sababu gani any unsurrendered area is an entry point of satanic powers popote ujapatia mu unafungua mlangu why the devil lays claim satani anadai hiyo maeneo na wakati nataka niwasaidie sasa katika maisha yako hii tunaishi na huu mwili hapa duniani kama kuna area unajua kabisa mimi kifika mambo ya hisia mimi naongozwa na hisia you see you don't allow your feelings to be ruled by the word of god kuna watu wataki hivyo kuna mtu mwingine wirupawa yake anakataa kuongozwa na neno la bwana for example you have a problem of submission that's a problem of your will if you identify you are rebellious which means you are not submissive hauti mamlaka hiyo area shetani ndio ataingilia na akiingia atadhuru ata maisha yako amen so if you want to cross every door in your life submit every area in your life lakini hii ni safari si si kitu ya siku moja mafundisho na mafundisho eh inaonekana hii area nimefungua unatubu unampatia bwana tunaendelea na safari unamwambia hii area nyingine kwa mfano wakati nafundisha uh, watu walio katika ndoa kuna mambo mengi Mungu anawazungumzia kwa mfano ah nasikia kwamba Bwana ndiye kichwa eh alafu naelezewa alafu sasa Bwana Mungu baba Mungu wa mbinguni ndiye mkubwa wa wote chini yake ni Kristo chini ya Kristo ni mwanaume chini ya mwanaume ni mke na wengine ni watoto okay nasikia na ndiko sasa ni kwa natawala mzee sasa nalia rais sitatawala mzee tena una occupy place yako that is how you change that's how you surrender some people have unsurrendered area because they lack knowledge so once they get the revelation knowledge you need to do something with that, that knowledge <coughs> amen the other thing is that uh, when you are born again your body was purchased but it is not yet redeemed the body was purchased what we are waiting for is the redemption of your body but the price is paid for garama imelipwa the redemption of the body is when we shall be given a glorious body na wale munafikiria at glorious body shall be automatic let me tell you this You must be careful the kind of life you are living while in this body. Lazima uchunge yale maisha unaishi katika huu mwili. 
yanaweza yakafanya usipokee mwili wa utukufu tamaa mbaya mbaya doing things which are contrary to biblical instruction so you need to subject your body to the authority of the scriptures subject your body to the authority of the scriptures tisha mwili wako kwa maagizo ya neno kwa mfano neno nasema kwamba tusimani mahali ya wenyewe lakini wewe kila mahali ukienda ni kutamani vitu za wenyewe eh? sasa unajua tunatumia ni macho unatumia si macho iko kwenye mwili unatumia mwili kuona wenyewe gari ile gari sasa lazima tuanze kujizuia eh bwana asifiwe lazima uwe na kiasi we need a moderation in our lives tuwe watu wa kiasi eh yani unatamani kitu cha wenyewe mpaka unapanga jinsi utakinyakua unaweka mpaka mikakati ya ujanja Amen. We need a life of discipline. Self control. You need the fruit of the Holy Spirit of self control. Galatians 5:22. Self control is one of the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Nitunda Roho Mtakatifu. Lazima mwili wako udhibitiwe na Roho Mtakatifu. Kama ni ulimi wako na ni sehemu ya mwili wako upatiana ulimi wako kwa Bwana uponywe. Huwa unasaidia kama kale kana kanaendeshwa na makaptain wanaendesha meli. Eh? Ama ile kale kapiti kanaweka kwa farasi. Inaongozwa ina turn this way and that way. Now ama ama kaspek kadogo ambacho kanawasha moto kwa msitu mzima. Nika kiungo kadogo na kako kwenye mwili. So we need to know particularly you need to watch over your tongue it can make you not go to rapture. Kwa hivyo kila kiungo katika mwili wako should be an instrument of righteousness. Kila kiungo it should be an instrument of righteousness. So that your body can be secure in the Lord. Utaweza kuingia kwa rapture na utaweza kupokea mwili wa utukufu. One of the diseases of the tongue ni mambo ya gossiping. Gossiping is very deadly na inakuwa na hatari kubwa sana. Na wale ambao hamuingiangi ha Bible study, ni vizuri muombe hizo notes kwa washirika ambao watumishi wa Mungu wanakuja. Hayo ni mafundisho muhimu sana. Very 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 critical. Very critical mambo ya ulimi. Maana ulimi, ulimi ni hatari. Utafanya watu wengi wafungiwe nje. Wengi. Na watakuwa kanisani, watakuwa nje ya kanisa. Wako kwa kanisa. Na watakuwa wamekuja kwa mikesha. Eh? Na ni vizuri kupeleka mwili wako mahali na takikana. Don't take your body everywhere. The Bible says you don't become busy bodies. Hiyo ni governor ya kiroho. Usifanye mwili wako kila mahali. Eh? Ukifika roilo kwa kwa metra. Je, huyo hiyo kidogo unaingia sijui wapi? Eh? Zuia. Don't take your body. Don't be a busy body. Eh? na wengine wanakuanga bise ni Paul aliambia kanisa hiyo si mambo yangu usiniangalie vibaya ya bwana sifiwe bise bise body unaamka asubuhi by saa ine umeingia nyumba za wenyewe kama sita hata kwingine hawajaamka hajamtire bora okela bwana sifiwe ati nasema nimekuja kwa ajili nimekuja kwa ajili ya hali alafu nitoe ushuhuda Amen. Kama wewe ni mzee wa kanisa. Alona tunafanya mimi nafanyanga follow up. Unajua unatumia mwili kufanya follow up? Eh? Unaenda ku follow up mjane. My sister have come this early to encourage you. Minister and encourage me to require as wisdom. Amen. Yeah. You might be doing the right thing, but you have taken the body to the wrong place. Make sure you take your body to the right place and at the right time. Amen. Amen. Na mkitaka niwaambie kwa wazi. You can imagine mtu anasindikishwa na mujane na ni saa sita ati nimetoka ministry of encouragement. Isn't that a busy body? It's also a sign of evil. 